Alright, hey guys, so in the last video, I just went over the um, introduction of the application. We're going to make an e-commerce web application. And in this video, we're just going to do some setup, some configuration uh, for adding in MongoDB and, and uh, basically our environment. I, I think that's going to be all. Um, let's make sure we are in the right thing. So. Um, first we need to start the Mongo server, and there we go, I'm just going to do it in this window, so mongod, go back to our original window, and then if we do a, oh right, we have to actually add the dependencies, so, so far we don't have anything under dependencies, so we're going to install some packages. The first one we're going to want is, oh right, this is npm. So first we want um, the nest.js mongoose package, or, which is connects mongoose, and then what else do we need? Um, da, 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 da. I think that's all we need for now, so I'm going to do that. Do, 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 do. And then since this is a TypeScript application, we should probably add the types for those two. And I'm gonna add them in as dev dependencies. So add types, mongoose, and the nest.js uh, package is um, already a native TypeScript, so we don't need types for that. So after that's done, we just need to go to our app module, and I'm going to add a space here. We're going to import the mongoose module at nest.js mongoose, and this is a mongoose module. All right. Um, okay, so I mongoose module and I think it uses the like, four roots and we just need to send it a a URI string so I believe it's just gonna be mongodb colon slash slash localhost and then the name of the database and since this is mongo you don't have to create the database inside the Mongo shell. You can just do it here. You know, just create the database automatically. And I'm just gonna go with nest for now. Um, so once that's saved, uh, we're just gonna do npm run start dev. And the logs should say um, we connect to Mongo right here, Mongo, Mo, <coughs> Mongoose module dependencies initialized, and then there's this um, deprecation warning because the Mongoose package itself uh, is, um, still needs to be updated with the Mongo client.connect. And then if you switch to your um, Mongo shell or Mongod, daemon, whatever you want to call it, it should say right here. <clears throat> um, there's a connection with, by a Node.js server, and uh, so now we know that it's connected. All right, so the next step is to actually create some security. So we don't want to publish this specifically, the URI string specifically, um, onto GitHub or anywhere else that's public. So we're gonna create a environment file. So touch.env and I'm gonna open it. There we go. Oops. And here I'm just gonna make the environment variable of Mongo URI UR equals to where is it? Um oops. Ah Okay. P. Uh, yank. I 
don't remember that command. Alright, so now we have the Mongo URI and the environment file, and then of course we need to add uh, .env, the package. So npm i um, .env and we can go to the main entry file, so main.ts and I don't think we need types since we're not gonna we're gonna do a small shortcut but if you would like to add types for .env you could do it like so um, but all you really need to do is import dot in slash config at, at the very beginning of your application so main.ts is the entry file so everything that we write is going to be called within this function the bootstrap function so that because this is being called uh, we can we have access to this environment file anywhere else and that is where we're gonna um, uh, what's this word? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, we're gonna replace this string here with process dot env dot and my variable is called Mongo URI. Mongo underscore URI. And doing the same thing should give us the same results if we do npm whoops run start dev everything should be the same so uh yep we don't get any warnings but there's one small problem because i mentioned that i want to do some testing in this series so first i need to remember what the test uh scripts are so it's in here so if we do a um, npm run test, I believe this one runs OK. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Which is good. But um, this is a unit test, so it doesn't actually connect to the database. Um, and I actually prefer end-to-end -end test, which if we run it, <coughs> if we run the end-to-end -end test right now, it's going to blow up because it doesn't have access to the environment files or the environment variables. So as you can see here, this is the um, error that you'll see uh, if Mongoose can't connect. And all we have to do for that is go into our test file and do the same thing. So import.env slash config. And we run the end to end test again, it should pass. I believe there should be an exit error, yeah. Um, I'll have to look into that, I don't really know what that means quite yet. Um, let's see, what else is there? Um, that's all for just connecting our database to our application and our doo -doo -doo -doo. so I think the next thing we should do is um, go over the tools that we're gonna use to uh, test this application um, so I'm gonna mainly be inside of the test files uh, because hold on npm runs Oops, start dev and then make a new actually I'm just going to do this um, so I don't have Postman on Linux and I actually don't want to install it so the best we can do is just do a curl to http localhost and then I, what port is this on um, main. It's listing on three thousand. 
And there's our Hello World, which is what's being returned from our app controller. We get Hello, and then we get the string of Hello World. So if I'm going to actually test the um, endpoints myself, I will use curl in the terminal. Otherwise, I'm going to try to stay within the unit test and the end to end test as much as possible just to get the feel of testing. And it should be pretty simple since all I have to do is do a get or a post, and expect the status code, and then expect the actual thing. So um, let's actually test that out. So instead of the string, I'm going to uh, change it to a, um, what's it called? An object. And, do, 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 do. and also in our app service, we're going to change this to just any for now. And, uh, oof. Oops, that's not the wrong. Uh, whatever. Um, I'm just going to close this and close this. And I'm just going to do and run test and do end. And this should give us a positive pass test because we're expecting an OK and we're getting back an object instead of the string of hello world. So that's good. Um, I may want to add better test messages, but yeah. Um, yeah, not a huge video today, but I, I just getting into the swing of things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video at least, and I'll see you guys in the next video.